100 jams where a hit music lives. Locked in the midday chop up right here with your girl Erin Rain. Cranium in the mix with no other. Right about now, the time is 11.30. It's all about chat trap, letting you know what's happening in the media. Like I told you earlier, I'll inform you on what's going on with this whole T.I. and Tiny Harris situation, which I'm not liking right about now, but after keeping quiet for as long as one can, T.I. finally responded for him and his wife. And of course, you know, they have actually been targeted or oh, I don't know exactly what's happening but by this Atlanta entrepreneur and former friend of Tiny Harris Miss Sabrina Patterson Peterson she actually has been um, in the media bashing T.I. and Tiny making sex traffic allegations and now she claimed that she was in contact with over two dozen women who alleged that they were drugged and sexually assaulted by both T.I. and his wife so you can see this situation started off kind of small because you know they were in the media going back and forth for a minute saying that T.I. It, um, hit her in the head with a gun and all kind of different situations so it went from that to now you know sexual assault allegations so we'll see what's going on but um, T.I. stated in his response that and this is him if we want something we know exactly where to go to get it and we ain't never forced nobody we ain't never drug nobody against their will we never held no one against their will and we ain't never made nobody do anything and people with evil intentions have no gender a threat comes in all shapes and sizes only time will tell if these allegations do turn into a serious legal matter for T.I. and Tiny but T.I. and Tiny Harris also released a joint statement denying Sabrina Peterson's allegations and threatens illegal actions so the Harris's have had difficulty apparently with this woman for well over a decade at least this is what the statement is saying and they are taking this matter very seriously and they're also stating that these allegations don't end they will take appropriate legal action so it's good to see that they finally responded because a lot of persons actually started to believe the rumors and I think a lot of people probably still kind of believe them until you know there um, some proof really comes from this matter showing that it was false but who else is being called out during this time and is it just the season to start calling out um, your favorite celebrity or just I don't know but one of America's next top model former contestants model Lisa D'Amato D'Amato is calling out America's next top model creator Tyra Banks for allegedly exploiting her childhood traumas for profit so Lisa stated that she broke her contract by opening up during an episode of E! True Hollywood story about the alleged mistreatment she and other girls received while competing. To, so to support her case, she even also stated, um, well she included footage from fellow former contestants like think what Gina Turner of Cycle 24, Angelia Preston of Cycle 12, 14 and 17, a few more women she you know had included um, of course you know with her reports and Tyra started to receive a lot of backlash for this and she actually has been receiving even backlash for a while especially I think it was one moment that she even claims was not one of her most proudest moments when she told one of the girls that um, she'd never be a cover girl with a gap in her teeth and of course we all know who I'm talking about the girl named Danny and that was a super sad um, statement to tell someone especially when they have a dream and they're trusting in you to make that come to light but nonetheless Tyra did say you know she felt bad about it she was not proud of it and she did apologize for it. So to me, to constantly being called out in the media, especially for something that I don't know, someone experienced years ago, and they're saying that you play on people's childhood trauma, I'm just saying at this point, uh, just let it go. Just let it go. But that's it for Chat Chat. I'll let you know what's happening in the media, but I do got to remind you to pick up a copy of the Tribune today because, of course, you know, the latest news right now is what's happening with Peter Nygaard. They do have a four series for his documentary, so you want to be sure to um, just stay up to date and check that out. And actually, the headlines for the Tribune is nothing to hide. Christy and Davis insist party's reputation is clear amid Nygaard allegations. And former Prime Minister Perry Christie said in a new Canadian television program that he has no fear of any investigation into his conduct and public life concerning Peter Nygaard. So this is definitely a story that you want to continue to read up on. But that's it for Chat Trap right now. Letting you know what's happening right here in the media. Jumping back into the mix. City Girls with Jobs.